I often get asked what gear I bring on the trips I take with Gary, so today I'll be showing you what goes in Gary's pack for one of our paddling adventures. Starting off, I have a small first aid and survival kit. It includes a compass, a multi-tool, fire starters, and first aid supplies for both Gary and myself. It all lives in a small waterproof bag and just lives in the bottom of the pack. Next, I have a Garmin InReach. It's a two-way satellite communicator. We're often out of cell phone service, so it's pretty helpful to have. Also bringing a light sweater. It's been pretty warm, so I don't need that much in the way of extra layers. Since we're paddling, Gary's life jacket is super important. It's nice and small and fits easily. Perhaps the most important snacks for Gary and I Gary's got some tuna, and I've got delicious cookies. It's also nice to have a rain jacket. Even if it's not raining, it can help keep the splashes off and keep you warm. Once all that's packed, I put in the paddle. It's a little bit awkward. This pack was never really meant for what I make it carry, but with a bit of fiddling, we can get the paddle attached in a way that makes it suitable to carry. Water is important. Just bringing one liter today because we won't be out for very long. Also put the other half of the paddle on this side. Finally, we get to our boat. I have an Alpaca Pack Rafts Classic. It's a small, lightweight, inflatable. Weighs about six and a half pounds for half of what Gary does, and it packs up nice and compactly to be carried around, and uh, I just strap it to the bottom of the backpack. The backpack that I'm using is a Kurgo G Train. It's, in my opinion, the best hiking-focused pet pack out there. As you can see, it's got enough space for your own gear, especially if you get a little bit creative, and it's got enough space to keep your pet comfortable as well. The one big downside of it is that it's not that comfortable to carry for super long distances when it's loaded up like this. The longest paddling trip that Gary and I have ever done was a 36 kilometer round trip. So at the end of that, my shoulders were pretty sore. And I think one of the big reasons for that is it lacks a particularly thick waist belt. So you're really carrying all of the weight on your shoulders. I probably need a custom pack, but we just haven't gotten around to having one built for us yet. Still missing something important, and that's Gary. Have to get him harnessed up first. A lot of people ask what harness we use. This is a Kilo Niner Pets M1. I like it because it's particularly adjustable and is very secure. A big key when you're adjusting your harness, whatever harness you buy, is to make sure that it's tight enough. Cats have a lot of fluff and it might look like it's tight. Uh, but they may still have room to wiggle out of it. So, as you can see, Gary's a pretty good boy. He just sits right in the top there, and the pack zips up around him. He'll fall asleep in here. He loves his pack. And when we're out, I can just put it on the ground, and he'll crawl right into it. Now we're all ready to hit the water.